G'day legends, Aaron off Rider here. Today we're gonna to be doing a bit of a budget mod on the new Toyota Prado. So, as we all know, the standard halogen interior lights are shocking. I actually hate them, and um, it was actually one of the first mods I've done, but I bought cheap, crap LEDs, and I've got a bunch in there now. And um, all they do, some of them, all they do is just flicker, and it drives me nuts. So today we've got these mint ones from Illumo and um, let's see how they go. They look so much better quality already. Have a go at them. Check them out. A couple of these ones, multi-directional ones. And then a couple of flanks they call them. So just a one-way light. So we'll see how these go. And then these big boys, the flares for reverse lights. T15s. Look at the bloody size of these. These are going to be awesome. Can't wait to test them out. So look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. There's two in here. One's not even working. It's flashing, carrying on. I'm sick of it. And then in the front. What have we got here? Yellow. What? This one failed, so I had to put a yellow one inside something. So yeah, it's uh, well due for a for an update. It's the rest of the car. There's all these nice LED strips. I don't understand why they come with those yellow lights. It's just ridiculous. Everything else is LED. Literally everything. Parkers, high beam DRLs, parkers, fog lights. So yeah, time to update the rest. Before we dive right into the install, I'm going to bring up their website quickly. So you've got the low and high beam LEDs, interior and exterior, reverse bulbs, indicators, tail and brake lights and adapters. You've got HID kits, um, HID ballasts. HRD projectors, LED projectors, projector accessories, wiring, we've got relay harnesses, PWM CAN bus modules, pigtails and adapters, sockets and connectors, and then build materials as well. And you've got all your vehicle specific stuff. A quick flick through their Insta as well. These are some serious high end products and I'm stoked to be getting these on the rig and get a bit of reliability out of the lighting. So installing LED lights is super simple. So I've got these two options. I've got the flank and the multi-directional one. So I'm probably gonna use the multi-directional one because I still want it to point down. Um, all you have to do is these pivot at the back, as you can see. So you just get a panel removing tool like this in the back and hold onto it. That's all right. Tear them off. So these are the cheap ones. These are the cheap ones I've been using. So just the standard plastic um, with a bit of wire. And you gotta be careful with them because the wires break. So I'm gonna swap that out for this and um, see how we go. Right, so I've got both of those in. All you gotta do is put that up in there, click them in. Right, I'm gonna say it right now, they are so much brighter. Not even kidding. Next ones I'm gonna attack are these number plate lights, because these are gross. Right, for these ones, I'm gonna fit the flanks, the one way light. These are going to work good in here. The good thing about the flanks is they're um, not only are they one way light because you can actually put them each way, the polarity doesn't matter. You can actually aim the beam because if it wasn't, half the time you wouldn't be able to use it. Check the difference on them, it's insane! So much better. You can even tell the brightness. Mint. Kidding out, yeah? The more I look, the more these cheap ones have failed. Look at that. Doesn't work. 
reverse lights are on. Is this one on? Nah, that one doesn't work either. And then this one in here, don't mind the beat. I pulled the cover off this one. I'm not sure if you'll see. But this end LED has stopped working, but the rest still work. So these cheap ones, oh, it's doing my head in. So let's get these tail lights out. So two Phillips heads. I'm gonna use a ratchet and a 10 mil, pull these out. Bob, what do you reckon? Stoked. And to get these out, they're a little bit tricky. Just gotta grab hold of it. Just pull it back like that. So here we go. On the reverse bulb, so down the bottom here. Twist it out. So this is what I've got. So these are the flares, they're a T15, a little bit bigger, as you can see, same sort of good quality setup. So we'll put this in, see how we go. Righto, it's a little bit risky putting these in, but you just line them up in all the slots, just give them a good push. That's in, Let's put the screws in, just give it a quick test. Check that out. They can't so much better, so it's going to do this side as well. <laughs> Last but not least, got these two. So I've got two more LEDs to put in here, putting the um, non directional ones in there. I can't even look at that Lumo one, that's insane. Alright, to get this one out, just a little thing in the side there. cover off and there you go legends that's what I pulled out be sure to check out Aussie made company Alumo down in Melbourne